Hey guys, what's up? This is Rando Geek. All right, so I want to talk about the Moto G Stylus 5G phones. So there's two of them that we're going to talk about today. So we're going to talk about the Moto G Stylus 5G 2022, and we're going to talk about the unreleased Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. I just want to do a comparison of the two phones, the specs, and um, you know, just just to show you guys what's different, what's not different. And um, one thing I noticed, which is really interesting, is Moto has the the uh, 2022 version priced at $500. All right, a month, two months ago, uh, they had it down to like 250 or something like that. Because when I was looking to purchase it, I had originally purchased it from the Moto site. And um, I had got a good deal on it, right? And um, there was some issues with delivery through UPS. So the, you know, real quick story, I had to return it, whatever. Um, it, actually, it never, it never made its way. And so I, I got a refund is what I mean. And um, then I bought it on Amazon, right? For $2.75, um, same day shipping. So now they have it for 500. And I think they're doing that because they know that they're about to drop the new one so probably what will happen is this one will probably go back down to like 250 or 300 and my guess is they're probably going to price the 2023 version uh for this for about 499.99 so we'll see you know but that's probably my guess they're probably going to try to get as much out of this before before it goes down in value pretty much when they drop the new one so, all right, let's quickly go over the Moto G Stylus 5G 2022 version, all right? And then we'll, we'll compare it to the new one. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. So, we'll just do a uh, full view here. All right, so you can see here how it has the triple cut camera, 50 megapixel dual right dual pixel all right and then you have you know 120 hertz refresh rate ultra wide edge to edge pretty much just a slight bezel chin which is like at the bottom and you have a case anyway so you barely even notice that it pretty much is edge to edge it's a 6.8 inch screen full hd right so that with the 120 hertz, very slick, you know, very slick device. All right. So then you have the Snapdragon 695 processor, which is also with with the 120 hertz refresh rate, with the full HD, with the RAM. It feels smooth. All right, two days of battery life, eh, probably about a day. 5,000 milliamp battery, but I mean, when I say a day, I mean like a day of usage. If it's just sitting around and you're barely doing anything with it, then yes, you can get two days battery. If you watch YouTube, if you check, you know, if you're constantly looking at the, the new Google News Feed or doing some kind of repetitive activity on it, you'll get a day's worth, which is still awesome. You know, like that's considered heavy use. If you have your screen, you know, decently lit, you know, and it's not on adaptive uh, power, you know, one day, about a day of battery is pretty good, you know. All right. What else we got here? So it boots, uh, loads with Android 12. So we're hearing that it should get Android 13. I'm hoping, you know, but uh, it does load with Android 12, right? So let's go ahead and go over all the specifications. So we have the operating system, which is Android 12. Internal storage is 512 gigabytes. All right, so now how that works is you get 256 on board for the storage, and then you get an SD card for another 256. Okay, so it says internal storage, but it's this is how it works. You get 256 on board and then 256 SD card 
that comes with the phone already in the phone. All right, so still a lot of storage, a lot of storage. All right, then you have all your sensors. You have Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G mobile platform. Expandable storage is up to one tethabyte, eight gigs of RAM. Then you have the side fingerprint reader. All right. Oh, and, and see, it does tell you here too. The 256 pre-installed memory card included. So 256 internal, 256 pre-installed memory card. All right. Then you have the 5,000 milliamp battery, turbo power, 10 10 amp, Qualcomm quick charge. Right. So that's that. Two days battery. 10 watt charger, 6.8 screen, 6.8 inch full HD max vision display, 120 hertz. Resolution is 1080 by 2460 pixels. Active area touch panel, LTPS display, 20.59 aspect ratio. All right, dimensions, body is plastic, 3.5 milli millimeter head jack with USB-C port. Weight is 215 grams. Water, water repellent, two colors, steel blue, sea foam green. All right, and then here's your camera info. Full HD, 30 frames per second. Speakers, loudspeaker, smart PA. Two microphones, Google Assistant. Smart screen moto, NFC, Wi Fi, Bluetooth 5.1. Of course, it has the stylus. These are all your carriers and feet, you know, functions that are supported. So, not supported with visible. All right, so that's everything for the uh, Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. Beefy phone, beefy. When I say beefy, it's a powerhouse. You just read the specs. Now for 500, no, too much. But for 250, 275, much better. Um, you can get it from Boost or even Metro for a lot cheaper. However, you're getting only four gigs of RAM and you're getting only 128 gigs of storage. So if that doesn't really matter to you, then go for it because Metro has it for like 20 bucks right now. And I think even Boost has it for very low. I don't know if it was 20 or 50 on Boost right now, but definitely check those out if you don't mind getting half the RAM, four gigs, and only 128 gigs of storage. That's probably more than enough for most people. Even with the four gigs of RAM, it's still a very fast phone. The 120 hertz refresh rate actually makes it very feel very, very smooth. You know, it's amazing what the difference is between the 120 and the 60. You know, so definitely, definitely a good phone if you guys are looking for something like that. You know, I honestly, I, I almost compare it to like, you know, a high end phone at this point because of the specs. I know the camera's not excellent, but it does the job. Processor is pretty good with with the RAM and and the uh, refresh rate feels good. You know, it's a smooth phone. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the 2023 version. Okay, so we don't have a price yet because it's not yet available. Now you could register on their site and be notified when it hits, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, you don't have that triple cam. Instead, what you have is like a 50 megapixel right but only two cams here in the back all right so that's different right off the bat of course you get the stylus all right so now as far as the screen size they dropped it down to 6.6 .6. 2022 version 6.8 so they made the screen a little smaller but it's hard to tell here if the bezel is slightly smaller it does look a tad bit 
hard to tell because the uh, background they have here is black, so it kind of blends in. Let's see if we can get a better shot here. There we go. There's the chin. Hard to tell. I mean, it looks pretty close, but it you may be getting a little bit more edge to edge. So even though it's a 6.6, .6, if the chin is slightly smaller, it could really equal out to about maybe a 6.7. If we're looking here, the chin does look a little less. It looks like there's a little less bezel there, so it might be pretty close when you when you even it out. When you remove some of the bezel. You know, it's probably about the same, but, um, yeah, either way, looks, looks like it might be a little smaller, but then again, bezels are a little smaller too, so, we'd have to see, right? 120 hertz refresh rate, that remains the same, full HD display, better sound, so they still have the, uh, Adobe Alt Atmos, uh, speakers, all right? So that's the same two days of power that's the same all right let's go ahead and view all specifications so we don't have everything here yet um, right away I first thing I notice is the RAM specifications are not listed so I don't know if it's gonna be the same eight gigs probably won't be more so it'll either be eight gigs or less to be honest so we'll have to wait and see if they update the site and include that information but it's not listed here so one thing you are getting right out the box is Android 13 so that's awesome you're getting 256 gigabytes of storage so you are getting less storage you're not getting that free SD card with the 256 so less storage um, less storage and looks like maybe a smaller screen um, Snapdragon you are getting a new processor Snapdragon 6 gen one so a processor is getting upgraded all right you can expand the phone up to two tethabytes of storage which is awesome you can only ex uh, expand the other one the 2022 to one tethabyte so you you can beef up your storage on this one fingerprint reader is and face unlock all right 5000 milliamp battery you're getting a 20 watt chargeable uh, charger on this phone as where the other one is only 10 so you're getting a little bit more of a, a faster charge on this phone so that's good I like that the pixel resolution is gonna be better on this phone it's or is it about the same 24 times 1080 I think that was about the same Where is it? Actually, it's a little less. The resolution on here is slightly better on the uh, 2022. This one is 1080 by 2460. And this one's um, only 24. That's because the screen is a little smaller. So, the screen's definitely a little smaller. So, that proves it now. It's not just the chin. The screen is actually smaller. So... Yeah, you're getting a little bit less of a screen on the on the new one, but you're getting more storage. Uh, option, you're not you're getting less storage, but you could expand it to a larger storage. And then you're getting the new processor, Android 13. So far, you are getting a faster uh, wall charger. What else? Uh, let's see here. Weight is three two hundred and two. So it's a little less, it's about 13 grams less. Plastic body, water repellent design. You're still getting the headphone jack with USB-C port. Two colors, cosmic black and rose champagne, which is cool because uh, most fo Moto phones are, they you give you the uh, midnight blue, which is a nice color, but it's cool that you can get it in black if you want. So I like that. That's uh, cosmic black sounds real nice too go ahead and see if they have an image of that there it is yeah so I like that I like that color it looks nice 
I'm not a fan of how this camera looks though. I don't like that it's the, the two cameras. It's in a way they're trying to do like the, the new galaxies with the uh, big teardrop, the thicker teardrops. But I don't, I don't like the square back like that iPhone. To me, they're like trying to copy the iPhone with that. As where with the, it's interesting how they're doing this. So if you look at the 2023 version, the camera resembles, it actually resembles an iPhone a lot. So if you look at the square, right, that's the new iPhones. But if you look at the 22 version, it has more of like that galaxy look where it's like that three, the triple straight down. And then you have this here, kind of like the Samsung phones. So they decided to go iPhone more of an iPhone style with the cameras here. All right, so let's continue on with the specifications. Don't want to make this too long. I've already spoken long enough. Um, and then you have your, you know, your camera info, 30 frames per second, 50 megapixel, dual speakers, two microphones, cool assistant, you have your NFC, still have and uh, Bluetooth 5.1. So pretty much there you have it. So what's really different? Um, the phone's going to charge a little faster. All right. The um, Android 13, which is awesome to get that right out of the box. But that's really about it. Um, the option to expand to two tethabytes, but I don't like that he took away, you know, the free SD card, which was cool that they added that in. Processor is going to be a little quicker on here, but the RAM is unknown. So if it's eight gigs of RAM, like the 22 version, plus the new Snapdragon 6 gen, I'm going to say most likely it will be. I, I don't think they'll reduce it, the RAM. So if so, it's going to be, it's going to be a beast. It's going to be fast. They shrunk the screen a little bit. Don't know why. I don't know why they couldn't just leave it alone. But, um, you know, I don't know. But other than that, it's relatively very closely the same. And I don't know. I don't know if you guys should pay the 500, you know, especially if they drop the 2022 back to like something reasonable like 250 or whatnot you may just be better off getting that but then again it's an option for you you would be the one that would be paying for it so it's really up to you um what i can tell you is you probably will not be satisfied with, uh, dissatisfied with either they're both good phones but i wouldn't the 500 mark is too much you know i'll just be honest like it doesn't matter which one you go for the 500 mark is way too much wait for it to go on sale get a deal with someone else you know try to get it from boost or metro or anybody else don't pay 500 way too much for that you know um i'll be honest so but that's it guys um leave a comment below if you if you agree or disagree that not much is changing and which would you prefer like which phone stacking them up like from what you've seen what I showed you, like, what do you really think is different? And, you know, which one would you choose? Like, you know, to me, I mean, I like that the processor is newer, but, you know, to drop the screen is kind of dumb. But then, it, you know, the newer one charges a little faster. So, you know, but then you also lose some free storage. You know, you're losing a lot of free storage. So if you're someone that stores a lot of pictures and everything, you know, you might actually would have liked that. So, you know, it really depends on what you're using the phone for, I guess. All right, guys, I've taken way too much of your time. Sorry to make this so long, but these comparisons can take a little bit of time if you're just trying to explain like how you really feel about it. But um, be sure to hit the like button if you thought this video was useful or helpful in any way. Please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Much appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.